this is my drumstick here and then my practice pad and I literally want to show you how to use the practice pad and then that will be done now okay the practice pad is more like this okay if you check the video below this one you see where I make a practice pad I constructed it personally and using wood and marco and then some gum okay so you can make it yourself when you watch that video right so every drummer both a professional drummer needs a practice pad it cannot be over exaggerated thing you don't need the practice pad you need it even though you are a professional you need the practice pad so i want to show you how to use the practice pad now once you have your practice pad i was in that category too i don't even know what to do with the practice pad so now this is your practice pad once you have a practice pad the thing that you are beginning to start practice now your practice pad are supposed to be your rudiments we have 40 rudiments doesn't mean that you have to play all your 40 rudiments look for those rudiments that are that are more common like the singles the doubles the paradiddle the flam and uh, these are one, some of the basic rhythm that are more common you have to extract them out of the 40 rudiments okay and then begin to work on them all right that's the first way to know how to use your practice pad you get your rhythm and begin to work on them now when people get their rhythm they don't know what to do else you must play those rhythms on your practice pad using basic subdivisions all right basic what subdivisions so basic subdivision just simply means playing a particular rhythm in your quarter note in your eighth note and in your 16 notes all right those are what are subdivisions okay so i think that is the major way to go with a single practice pad some practice pad more like the drum your practice pad this will be a 4p practice pad where the practice pad having different levels of heights okay but this is just a single practice pad so i will show you now how to play some i'll just go ahead play my rhythm and then you are going to see what i'm going to do with that I just I just played some of my I just played some of my rhythm in there for you and then you had it clear okay so I'm like okay I'm going to play single strokes and then I'm going to subdivide it for you okay this high single so sound I'm not let me subdivide for you in quarter notes one two three four I want to play for you on eighth note now one And I'm going to play for you in 16 notes. Watch me as I count. I also count aloud. Alright? I also count aloud. So, quarter note is counted as 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then 16 notes. 1 and 2 and 3. And then I've counted that for you. And then that is for singles. Then let me play my doubles. And then let me show you how it sounds. Okay, that is my double strokes. So let me subdivide it for you. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And these eight notes. And then 16 notes. One, and a, and a, two, a, three, and a, four, a, and a. You can basically do this using a using your metronome. Okay? And then you slow it down to the kind of to the beat you are comfortable, maybe 60 beats per minute, and then you are on. So once you have your practice part, this is basically what you should be, should be doing. All right, you are going to get your rudiments and then split them into subdivisions and then begin to play them on the practice part until you are used to them. Once you are used to them, what you are actually doing with your practice part is that you are building your muscle memory so that when you build that particular rhythm, then you can now bring it to the drum. Do you get? And then you apply what you've learned on the practice part. Okay, so I'm going to show you on that rhythm that is way popular and maybe like, uh, maybe let me say paradidu. That's popular and then i'm going to show you that rhythm and then i'm going to show you from the practice part and then to the drums is that okay so let me play that paradu for you paradu subdivision for quarter notes played as right no paradu played as right left right right left right left left so one two three four one two three four that's paradu quarter notes the eight notes of paradiddle display us and two and three and four. Then sixteen notes display us one e and 
one E and right left. So it's played as one E and a two E and a three E and a four and E. The quarter note simply means four bits. Eight note simply means sixteen eight bits, and sixteen note simply means sixteen bits. All right. So after you've played your your rudiments, you are getting used to them with a metronome. All right. You are playing your your parts, subdividing them, different kind of rhythm. Your singles, doubles, triple stroke row. Single stroke six, paradiddle, flam, all of those rudiments. Especially the rudiments that are basically that is using the kind of music in your area. That's what you should focus on. And then you are going to dig them using your metronome until you are good. Until you are good with them. That is one thing you have to do. Then second thing you do with the practice part, you use your practice card to build strength, confidence, and speed. I said strength, what? Confident and what? Speed. That's one that thing you have to know. Your strength, your confidence, and your what? And your speed. Okay, so now once you get the practice part, don't start realizing speed immediately. No, it is not good. What you should do is that you should start practicing them at slow BPM, maybe 60 BPM. You subdivide single strokes, double strokes, but I do any of them in slow BPM, maybe 60 beat per minute, and then you play on them until you are comfortable. Then you can increase it. Now, mind you, while you play slow, it is building, helping your muscle memory. What it does, what it does to you is that with time, you'll be able to play speed fluently with time because. Because what a drummer needs the most is to be able to play with fluidity. You are very free and, free and you just play. Okay? That is very, very essential. So, those are some of the things that you do with the practice. But don't forget, first of all, gather extra rudiments that are in your area and then play, subdivide them, go for your, your speed, go for strength, and go for convenience. So, whatever thing you've learned on the practice, but maybe a part of you, you cannot apply them on your drum set. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.